Hello everyone, I recently hit 100 hours in this game called Warframe, and I logged 60 of those hours in only the past week. I myself have fallen in love with the game and would like to share my thoughts on why I think Warframe is one of the best games, if not the best game, that I have played in my lifetime. I came across Warframe soon after the developers had announced the Planes of Eidolon update. When I heard that Warframe, a free-to-play game on Steam which was quite popular and didn't seem to be losing players, was getting an open-world section, I immediately downloaded the game. Ever since then, I have never stopped loving Warframe and would like to share why you should give Warframe a shot if you haven't and why I love the game dearly. I'm making this video from a fairly new player's standpoint, so keep in mind I am not an expert at the game whatsoever. I will link a few experienced Warframe YouTubers in the description in case you want to see more of Warframe and want to learn about things more in depth. So Warframe is a free-to-play third-person shooter in the sci-fi genre and is developed and published by Digital Extremes. You, the player, were once part of an elite military force called the Tenno. These Tenno were masters of the Warframe armor and used Warframes to bring an end to galactic conflict in what is now called the Old War. Awoken once more many years after the Old War, you must bring an end to the Grenier, a faction sworn to conquer the universe, and one that must be stopped. You start out Warframe with one of three starter Warframes, those being Excalibur, Volt, or Mag. Don't fret, however, because as you progress through the game, you can learn about the 31 other Warframes that exist within the game, which are all obtainable through raw gameplay without paying real money. Each Warframe offers different abilities, playstyles, and cosmetics, which can cater to every playstyle imaginable. On top of the wide variety of Warframes, Warframe holds a massive selection of weapons, categorized through your primary, secondary, and melee options. These 300 plus weapons can all be earned through the in-game grind or through purchasable currency. Once you hop into Warframe, you will immediately notice how entertaining the movement and combat is. Leaps and rolls keep the game invigorating and make you feel like a Genji on steroids. To this day, the movement in this game still entertains me and quite frankly, I don't think it'll ever stop amusing me. The combat in this game has also not ceased to amuse me. The sounds and visuals that the guns and melee weapons provide is astounding and nothing is more badass than sliding through a group of enemies with your sword out, turning around, and seeing that all those intact enemies you slice through are no longer intact. My gaming career has consisted of primarily shooters and story driven games, and Warframe is a combination of those two that I thought I would never come across. Warframe's story takes a little bit to get rolling, but once I got into the quests further down the line, such as Nata, The Second Dream, and The War Within, the story completely transformed me into a fanatic Warframe fan. At first, the Lotus, which is pretty much your space mom, may just seem like your commander and quest giver, but your relationship with her and other characters within the storyline and side quests evolves to give you an emotional connection to the game and its characters. On top of story-driven games, I migrated to PC gaming about five years ago. I began to develop a love for grinding games. I know grinding is a scary word to some, but to me it gives me a dedication that can be of absence within the gaming world today. Warframe is, at the end of the day, a grinding game. Grinding games tend to get old eventually, seeing that most of them consist of slow, repetitive mission grinding. This boring aspect of most grinding games is what distinguishes Warframe from the rest. Warframe's gameplay is so attention-grabbing that even after 100 hours, I still enjoy myself when I'm grinding or just leveling a weapon from level 0 to max rank. This is one of the main reasons that Warframe is one of the best games I've ever played, because I could grind it and play all day, and never get tired of the game, and that says something special. My 100 hours is nothing compared to Warframe veterans, but I think it's fair to say that my 100 hours has given me enough knowledge to tell you a little bit about the game in this video. Despite a good chunk of my life, which is very well spent, I'll have you know, playing this game, I am still learning something new every day. I think it is quite agreeable that most fun occurs in a game when you are learning the basics, or even just new things in general. I always get extreme nostalgia when I look back into my luxuriant younger years when I was playing Minecraft, and it always brings a smile to my face. Warframe has restored my interest in gaming once again, and in the end I'm really happy I got into this game. Now real quick I'd like to cover some of the basic specifics of Warframe just in case you're a new player and haven't gotten into the game yet so I could help you out a little bit here. Now seeing that I mentioned them earlier, I have to cover the microtransactions within Warframe. On the Warframe website, you can purchase Platinum, which you can use in-game to instantly gain access to Warframes, such, 
which are just as accessible as those who haven't purchased Platinum. Platinum is in no way a pay-to-win gate for Warframe players. All Platinum does is get what you want, when you want it, without having to spend time playing or searching for parts and spending time on crafting within the game. Some in-game aspects require Platinum to unlock, such as Warframe and Weapon slots, along with advanced cosmetics. However, with Warframe's awesome in-game trading system, you can grind for an item, such as a rare blueprint or a Warframe, and sell it to someone who is willing to buy it for a real Platinum. Now, it's not hard to shake this off as something that will never happen in your Warframe career, but I have sold items in-game for Platinum myself, and I am not one to trade very often within games. The in-game Warframe systems are quite interesting. Warframe has a unique mission selection method. The missions are displayed on the star map, which contains all of the planets in the solar system, and for you Pluto believers, yes, the little guy is included, you start on Earth and progress throughout the planets and moons counterclockwise. Each planet has a different style, each one being interesting. Warframe provides different mission types for players to play, which are Arena, Assassination, Assault, Capture, Defection, Defense, Excavation, Free Roam, Salvage, Hijack, Interception, Junction, Mobile Defense, Pursuit, Rescue, Rush, Sabotage, Spy, and Survival. This wide variety is a great change of pace from wild goose chases and public events which occur in some AAA games today. <coughs> Sorry, I have something in my throat. The community in Warframe is quite amazing. A game's community is vital to the overall experience that players have in the game, especially today. A community can really make a game great, and Warframe is no exception. Out of my 100 hours played, I ran into one, yes just one, slightly unpleasant person. Everyone I've met has been willing to help me in my times of confusion or just when I need clarification on a game mechanic. The community has embraced new players like no other game has, and that is something that really needs to be recognized, so props to all you Tenno. In summary, what I'm trying to say is that Warframe has loads of refreshing and entertaining content, which is behind no paywall whatsoever, and it won't hurt anyone to give this amazing game a shot. DE, the developers for this game, you guys rock. The effort and dedication you guys put towards the community is astounding, and if any of you are watching this, thank you very much. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to my first serious and scripted video. If you have any tips to help me get better at this whole YouTube thing, please let me down down in the comments. I definitely did not cover everything Warframe has to offer, so I will leave links in the description to Warframe's official website, as well as some veteran Warframe YouTubers who you will have no trouble learning from if you are new to Warframe. If you can, likes and zero subscription would definitely help me out and motivate me to keep creating Warframe content, which is something I would really like to do. See you out in the fight, Tenno.